Hi, so I'm here with Pete Larson at the Times Cheltenham Science Festival. I'm going to be talking to you about what, what you're doing here. I know you're a world <laughs> famous paleontologist, but um, could you give me an overview of your career? Um, well, so started Black Hills Institute back in 1974. That was in the late Pleistocene. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, we do work for museums all over the world. Yeah. And so the two dinosaur skeletons in here are, are, are some of our children, if you will. And they're Gorgosaurus. Gorgosaurus and Edmontosaurus. Yeah. And the Montosaurus. Okay, cool. And um, what, what else have you been doing at Cheltenham? I know you've uh, had a few events, haven't you? Giving a few talks here. Yeah. And also last night we talked, uh, spoke at Oxford at the museum. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's a light show which is going on every day. Every day. I, I don't know exactly, but it's maybe every 20 minutes or every half hour, something like that. And yeah. Then, and then we have these wonderful group of school kids that, that come through and ask these yeah. fantastic questions. Yeah. So why did you get into paleontology? I mean, how? what was your inspiration? Um, I guess when I was at, uh, about four years old, I picked up a fossil tooth on my parents' okay. ranch yeah. in South Dakota. And uh, we had a local museum. I took it to the local museum. and, and uh, uh, the young woman there took me under her wing. Her name was June Zeitner, and she became my mentor and through most of my life until she passed away just a few years ago. But uh, without that real help yeah. of somebody else, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's kind of what dinosaurs do to you, and, yeah. and, and, and they, they, they grab your imagination. And, yeah. And uh, once you get started, you can't stop. <laughs> no, definitely. And I, I sort of see dinosaurs as the gatekeepers to science because, you know, as you said before, people can't help but fall in love with them. Why do you think it's so important that dinosaurs are such a big part of the Cheltenham Festival this year? Well, as you mentioned, they're they're really kind of the, the gateway to, to science. Mm. Um, kids see a dinosaur, you know, this, this monster that once, once was living, and they start asking questions. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they realize that this is kind of how science works. We're, we as scientists are trying to understand their behavior, trying to bring them back to life, sort of figuratively anyway. Yeah. Not like Jurassic Park, although that would be cool too. Yeah. <laughs> but but we, uh, uh, I think that really inspires them to start asking questions. And what better, what better way to, to get into science but, but through these, these wonderful monsters? Yeah, they are. They're pretty amazing, aren't they? And did you work on the uh, Jurassic World film that's coming out soon? Did you have any input into it? Uh, one of the dinosaurs we collected years ago, Sue, was actually measured, the measurements that we did on that yeah. skeleton were supplied to the people who made that first Jurassic Park movie mm -hmm. and uh, to, to the CGI people and they used that to, to help with, with the movie. Oh, okay, that's pretty exciting. And Sue, is like, is it the biggest T-Rex? Sue's the largest, most complete, and I guess you'd say best preserved of all the Tyrannosaurus Rex specimens that have been found today. Yeah, and you excavated. It was, yeah, one of the, uh, I've been very fortunate, we've been able to excavate 10 T-Rexes in my career, which is, is pretty cool. Yeah, and are they, where are these T-Rexes now? Are they all over the world? They're all over the in? world. Uh, the newest one we collected is, is going to be in Holland, so uh, uh, it'll be kind of a short jump across the channel for people to go see a, 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 an original T-Rex doll. And we, deliver that in, in uh, 2016 and next next year in July so uh, uh, next summer they're going to have a big celebration of fall I think is going to be the celebration unveiling this new T-Rex which is awesome. Is it? It's awesome. <laughs> so what, what next for dinosaurs? I know Jurassic World is out and everyone's going crazy about that. Yeah. What, what next? Well there's uh, uh, this week coming up there are going to be two National Geographic specials that yeah. uh, Dr. Phil Manning and I are part of. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one on, I think, the 8th and one on the 9th, uh, uh, and uh, I think there's going to be, we, we have uh, a dinosaur that we're hoping the, the description will be published in time for the opening of the movie as well, a brand new dinosaur from, from South Dakota that uh, I worked on with a, a few friends. Which dinosaur is that? I can't tell oh, you. you can't tell me, damn it, I thought we were going to get an exclusive there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's a press embargo yet, in fact, uh, in effect. But, damn those embargoes. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know the the new dinosaur that was just uh, a paper was just published in Plus One here just a couple of days ago that is from uh, from York mm -hmm. and just uh, so we're finding new dinosaurs all the time and learning more about the world that uh, that used to be here. I wonder if we'll ever stop finding them. It's just endless. Isn't well, it? I hope we won't stop. Yeah. <laughs> we have just a small fraction of their uh, of the time that they lived. Each little little segment of dinosaur lives. There's so many species that, that were on Earth that have yeah. not yet been discovered and may not be. There's going to be a lot of them that just left no record. Yeah, so many infinite possibilities really, isn't so there? So many fossils, so little time. I know, <laughs> but it's all about inspiring, you know, the next generation. Yep. So, 
just to sort of finish it off, what would be your words of advice for a young person that was thinking they might want to be interested in paleontology or science actually? Just as I think it's very important for, for young people to follow their heart. If they love something, if they have a desire to learn about something, they should just go with it and, and, and hopefully the teachers and the parents will encourage them. And I was very lucky to have both my parents and my, my mentor mm -hmm. that encouraged me to, to do what I do today. And I, I'm the luckiest person in the world. I get to, I get to do exactly what I want. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> great advice. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure.